moving them for the most superior view is the so-called three vessel view and what we are now done is move above the level of the right ventricular outflow tract and we're now cutting the, these vessels as shown with the pulmonary artery and duct the transverse aortic arch and the superior vena cava in transverse section so that the three vessel view shows us the V of the pulmonary artery and duct, the transverse aortic arch here, shown here, and the superior vena cava in short axis. I haven't in this diagram shown the trachea, but it's another important reference point which is seen posterior to the superior vena cava and should be seen to the right of the V indicated by these vessels. The trachea should not appear between these vessels. It should be outside of this V. As we come further cranially, we see the transverse aortic arch and the, the uh, arterial duct. So we see the true aortic arch and the ductal arch forming a V. Of note is that the right superior vena cava is to the right here shown in transverse section, then the aorta and then the pulmonary artery. And behind the SVC, we see this bright cuffed structure, which is the trachea. And this lies to the right of the aorta outside the V formed by the aortic arch and the transverse aortic arch. So this constitutes a normal three vessel view with a similar size of the transverse aortic arch and isthmus here and the ductal arch. There should be no major discrepancy in the size of those structures. And those represent the key core screening views of the fetal heart which we'll be discussing.